Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, August the 14th, 2019. It is around 8.15 a.m. and I'm going to share with you guys what I ate yesterday and my weigh-in from yesterday morning. I don't have a lot of other things to share this morning. Yesterday was kind of a boring day, not much went on. I did have to break out my ring light this morning because it's super foggy outside this morning and it cast a yellowish glow in here, even with my light on. So hopefully the ring light will help and it also cancels out the shadow that you guys have been seeing on my face. Um, still trying to work with lighting and get that right. You'd think after over a year on YouTube I'd have it figured out, but um, apparently I don't. So, let's just jump in. First of all, before I get in, into anything weight related, I will want to tell you that the little, and you guys corrected me, it was a millipede that I rescued when I went out yesterday morning to check on him after I was done uploading my video. He was gone, so I am very hopeful that he crawled away and he's now living happily with his other little millipede friends wherever they may be. So that was really good news. I was glad to hear that even though I don't like bugs or little creepy crawly creatures, I don't want to see anything suffer and I don't want to see anything die unnecessarily because everything has a purpose in this world even if we don't understand them, even if we don't understand why they have to have thousands of little creepy crawly legs, they do, and I was glad that when I went out, he was not there, so hopefully that's a good sign. So yesterday in my grocery haul, I showed that I got the Slim Fast Keto Bombs, and they're the peanut butter cup. And a lot of you guys had mixed feelings on them. Some of you loved them. Some of you thought they were okay. A couple of you didn't like them. I tried one last night, as you'll see in a clip in a little bit here, for what I ate yesterday. I wasn't too impressed with them. I would have, if I had known what they tasted like, I would have just saved my $10 and ate one of my chocolate peanut butter fat bombs from my freezer because they weren't much better. They were okay. I guess I'm looking for that consistency and that taste of an actual peanut butter cup because peanut butter cups are like everything to me. And when it doesn't taste exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup, I think eh, it's just okay. But it is nice to have for a treat. The Lifesavers on the other hand were really good. I had four of those as you'll see later. I guess I'm spoiling it, but you'll see I had four of those as well. And they were pretty good. I mean, they were good. I mean, I couldn't really taste the dif I couldn't taste the difference between the sugar-free and the original Lifesavers. So, they were good. Um, I think that's all I have to share other than my weigh-in. And I wanted to share a picture all inserted here. I'm not a fan of showing my body, my whole body, because honestly, I don't like what my body looks like. And so that's why I don't post a lot of body shots I know I probably should probably maybe this weekend I'll see or I don't want to promise something and then not do it but I will in the coming couple of weeks do a new set of full body shots I had posted body shots before I still have those pictures of course but this maybe this weekend or next I'll do a new set of body shots and then I'll share the previous ones and then the current ones, see if I can see any difference. The only bad part is in those pictures, the ones I did before, I was wearing black pants, so you couldn't see my stomach really well defined. Um, if probably a lot of you are new and don't know or maybe didn't see those pictures or haven't heard me say, I carry a majority of my weight in my apron area. I have a very large, very large apron that hangs down and with the black pants it kind of camouflaged where my belly was. You'd have to like look really hard to see where my stomach was. Well, I guess not really hard, but you would have to look to see the outline of my stomach. So I think that I'm going to pick a different color of pants, maybe a printed pair or I don't know something that defines better that you can see better on camera and better in pictures so you'll be able to see the difference when 
I start posting differences in my body and that is so exciting but what I did last night was I had mentioned that my pajama pants were huge on me and I wanted to sh post a picture show you guys a picture I lovingly refer to my apron area my belly my hang as Bertha so you have to excuse Bertha because Bertha doesn't look good she was not camera ready I don't think she's ever camera ready because I don't like the looks of her ever so I'm going to insert a picture here of how big my pajama pants have gotten so those are my now swimming in pajama pants all of my pajama pants are like that they were never skin tight when I got them but they were not baggy to that extent whatsoever um, so I can definitely tell I'm losing weight in my pants area I have the drawstring drawn as tight as I can so they won't fall down when I do walk um, so when I order my new ones definitely gonna go down a size maybe two I don't know but definitely a size so that's very encouraging alright let's get on with the weigh-in and the weights somebody asked me to tell you guys my starting weight and my previous weight so you guys could see when I post my current weight what it is without having to go back through my videos and I'm kind of confused on like my starting weights I don't actually have a true starting weight um, video bombed what are you doing okay There's Mean Cat. What are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Jump, jump. Okay. Thank you. All right, sorry about that little interruption. My cats are always interrupting, creating a chaos somehow. Um, so what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by Moo, um, I don't know my actual starting weight. Um, I do know that last summer before I started making videos, I was over 600 pounds. Um, then I have went back and forth in my weight a lot in the last year. Um, I found in one of the planners that I was keeping when I was weighing myself now I'm just getting in the cupboards underneath the sink so if you're crashing he's under there going to hide focus so I found a planner and in that planner back in April, I had been writing down my weights. On April 22nd, I had wrote down I was 581. I can't remember, I think I was 581.2 or something like that. But back in April, I was 581. Then there was nothing else written down because once I saw that, I, I don't remember doing that. Um, that's new trying to open the cover doors um, so after I saw that 581 I was probably discouraged well I know I was I mean yeah why wouldn't I be discouraged like I said I don't remember that specifically but I know that that's why I stopped weighing and stopped writing anything down because I was horrified and scared and in denial of a problem and just didn't want to face the truth anymore so for me it used to be the biggest way or the easiest way to not face the truth was to avoid it don't think about it and it won't be so that's something that I learned in my past at a very young age um, a lot of you know that I grew up in an abusive home my dad was sexually and physically abusive of me um, and while he was growing up he also learned that 
you don't think about something and it won't be so and I learned that from him you just kind of disconnect yourself from the issue and it's fixed not really but that's how I grew up learning and thinking and even to this day I still find myself doing it even though right now I'm learning with therapy to that that is not healthy and you can't do that and I know that logically but it's just a coping skill that I unfortunately learned <coughs> I gotta go get a cat I'll be right back All right, I thought I got him out of the covers, but I guess I didn't, so I'll be back again in a second. All right, so I think I fixed the problem. I put him in the bedroom and closed the door. Piggy's out here with me because Piggy's being a good boy. Moo is very, being very encourageable this morning, which is very like Moo. Um, he is a handful at times. He opens all the cupboard doors in the kitchen and he likes to go in the cupboards or just open them. He opens the drawers. On a daily basis, this is something that happens. It usually doesn't happen when I'm filming, but there you go. And I'm sorry for the interruptions, and I am now going to finish my video. So like I was saying, on April 22nd, I was 581 pounds. Denial that I had a problem. Stopped weighing because I didn't want to see the truth of how things were. I wanted to live in my denial, in my oblivion, and just not face reality. So then, when I weighed again in June, I was, the second week of June, I was 571. I don't remember the exact day. Um, so that's kind of like a timeline. I'm sure between April and June I went up and down quite a bit because that's my normal pattern of going up and down of 10, 20 pounds at a time. I get to a comfortable place. No longer am I doing that, but I would get to a comfortable place of like the 560s was comfortable for me, as crazy as that is sounds. Um, and then I would feel okay with starting to binge again and eat what I wanted and then I would see that number again and then it would scare me and then I would go back down. It was a vicious cycle and I don't know what, how I got it in my head that 560 was safe and it was okay. Definitely not um, and I know that now and I've moved past thinking that. So I guess my true starting weight, and this is such a long story, I drag everything out as you guys know and I'm sorry for that. I'm kind of not sorry for that because that's just who I am, but I guess I had to give you a little bit of the backstory for people that are new here. Um, so where I'm going to consider my start, I started keto at the end, in the middle of July, and I had some success. I lost probably about 15 pounds or so, and then I got sick with a urinary tract infection that turned into a kidney infection that turned into sepsis, and I was hospitalized. For the week before I went into the hospital, I was off of keto. Then the week I was, the weekend I was, that I was in the hospital, I was definitely off of keto. And a couple days after I was home, I was off of keto. Then I got back on. I guess to simplify things, I'm going to make July 31st my official starting date because that's when I started back to keto for the second time and I started getting back into a groove and doing well. So when I talk about my starting weight, I'm going to talk about July 31st and not my official highest because my official highest was over 600, but I don't know when. So July 30th, I was 552 pounds even. And Monday when I weighed in, I was 538.6. I was so happy to be out of the 540s. It was an amazing feeling. I'm still very happy and in awe that it's working. I'm as happy as can be. So now let's get to yesterday's weigh-in, which I will insert here. Hello. It's ready.
Yesterday's weight was 536.6 and that's down another two pounds since Monday. I am very happy. I know that this rate of weight loss is not going to continue forever, but while it's happening, I'm extremely happy. I'm kind of scared for the weekend coming up because as you guys know, the past two weekends have been not so great of a weight loss weekends. My first weekend, I was stalled all weekend. Last weekend, I actually went up a pound, 1.2 pounds. So, I'm kind of scared for this weekend, but I am still going to stay on track and keep pushing through because it is working. So that makes my official two-week weight loss at 15.4 pounds since July 31st. And I am pretty happy about that. I... I'm so excited to see my clothes getting bigger, um, being able to move better. I know it's only 15 pounds, but all together I'm down about 30 pounds since I can remember. Um, so it's starting to feel good and I'm starting to feel a difference in my body and it's exciting. And I wake up every morning excited to get on the scale to see what the new low is going to be. And I know that I can't just depend on the scale because it's going to go up, going to go down, it's normal. But it is, it feels good to know that I'm on track and to know that I have a solution to my problem and to not be living in denial anymore and being able to work towards a goal and to get on with my life and to get my life back together and on track and being able to move forward with the things that I want to do in life and it's just so amazing to me and I am so happy. That's why I'm rambling is because I'm so happy so I'm sorry but I am ecstatic. So my goal is I've decided that my birthday is October 26th so I would like to be under 500 pounds by my birthday. Hopefully that happens a lot sooner but I'm hoping definitely by my birthday to be under 500 pounds. That would be the best birthday gift ever if I could obtain that goal. So that's what I'm working towards, a short-term goal. All right, I rambled way more than I planned to because I told you guys I didn't have much to say. And of course, I found a lot to say. I'm going to shush now and I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday and my dinner was amazing and delicious. I made chicken alfredo with zoodles and homemade keto alfredo sauce. That was my first time ever making a homemade alfredo sauce and it was amazing. So it's definitely gonna be something I have on a semi-regular basis, not every day of course, but it was delicious and I will definitely be making it again. So stay tuned and you can see what I ate yesterday and then I will see you back tomorrow and I hope you guys have a good Wednesday and I will see you soon. Here come my meals. Hi little love. You already had your breakfast and your lunch. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You want a piece of sausage? It is 2.05 p.m. and I lasted 17 and a half hours today. Not my full 18 hour fast, but close enough. And this is what I'm going to have for my first meal. This, my, one of my waffles kind of fell apart a little bit. Um, but this is, I made half of the waffle recipe. This isn't the chaffle, it's the actual pancake, keto pancake waffle recipe and I made two of those and on there is a fried egg and then one piece of sausage and then the other piece of sausage is there and then some of the shredded cheese and then I'm having three strawberries on the side and then the other sausage patty because there's two sausage patties per serving and then I'm going to dip it in a little bit of the sugar-free pancake syrup. 
and then I'm gonna have my water and that's it for my first meal for today and I will be back with the next thing I eat it is 6 42 and I'm gonna start my dinner I'm gonna have Alfredo zoodles with chicken so I'm gonna make my first ever keto Alfredo sauce or my first ever homemade Alfredo sauce at all. So I'm going to melt my butter. That's two tablespoons of butter. And I've adapted this recipe to one serving since it's just me. While the butter's melting, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. Next I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. some pink Himalayan salt. Lastly, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of finely shredded Parmesan cheese. And there we have our homemade Keto Alfredo. And now we'll work on adding our zoodles. I've zoodled my zucchini. And I'm just going to add this to my Alfredo sauce and let it get coated and a little hot. I'm going to put the cover on, let it steam a little bit. I'm going to try not to overcook it this time. I'm going to toss the zucchini in the Alfredo. Alright, now that I have it coated, I'm going to put the lid on and just let it steam for a couple of minutes over a medium heat. While that's steaming, I'm going to cut up my chicken breast. I baked two, but one is for my kitty cat. 
I'm going to cut this into strips and get ready to put that on top of my Alfredo zoodles once it's done. Alright, my zoodles is done. My Alfredo zoodles are done. I'm going to plate it up with my chicken and then I will show you the end results. There is my end result, my chicken Alfredo with zoodles with the homemade keto Alfredo sauce. It looks really, really good and I'm excited to eat. It's 7.03 p.m. I might have a little something after I'm done eating, not sure. If I do, I will come back and show you. If not, this will be the end and I will see you next time. It's after dinner now. It's just after eight o'clock and this is my after dinner treat or after dinner snack or dessert, whatever you wanna call it. So this is what I'm having. This is, if you didn't see my grocery haul that I posted late last night, this is what I got at the grocery store yesterday as a kind of a treat kind of thing. These are the Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs, the peanut butter cup. I'm in a Facebook keto group and everybody's posting these saying they're amazing. So I thought I'd give them a try, even though I have chocolate peanut butter fat bombs in my freezer as well as cream cheese ones at my neighbor's. I still wanted to try these and I took one out and I took the box to my neighbor's. So these are living at my neighbor's house too, apartment. And then I have four of the sugar-free lifesavers and there is one net carb in four of them as well as one net carb for the fat bomb the slim fast fat bomb so two net carbs and you can see my cat's butt edging in the, the video there so that's what i'm gonna have and that will definitely end my day and i will see you guys back for tomorrow